Nowadays, customers realize that they can save a lot of time and money, of course, if they just hired a stock photographer instead of hiring a photographer for each task. And that's how stock photography has been born. Nowadays, you have all of these websites. You have Lamy, Shutterstock, Getty Images, and all of these sell like stock photos, but they don't make them, okay? Freelancers make those, and then they get a commission from these websites. But each one of these is different. Each one will give you a certain amount of money. As you can see, stock is the best one, a Lamy as well, but these are like more for like pros, you know, because let me just show you. On a Lamy, for example, if you just go and just click on certain picture, you have to pay when you want to download the picture, so you get a commission from download. But you can see that it is $13, for example, for this one. Or if you want to use it elsewhere in magazines and books, it is going to be $57. So these on Alami and Stocksy and sometimes Shutterstock, Shutterstock has subscription. These are really, really expensive, you know. And that's why stock photographers can get a lot of money as well. So if you are one, if you are a stock photographer, there is a good chance for you to succeed nowadays because all of this consumerism and online marketing, there's always a need for some stock photos or videos. But websites like Stocksy and Shutterstock, well, let's just say that I don't like these. If you want to make a living as a photographer, like for example, this guy is doing, he charges $5,000 per post, but he is doing some pictures like for example, this one, just look at this, like this is pro pro version of everything that you can think of when it comes to stock photography right but there is a website out there which is good for beginners and pros alike and the website is called click a snap where you make money when your photos are only viewed now let's think about this for a second i mean no one has to download your photo no one has to buy it well what is going to happen how are you going to get paid why we are getting paid per views only well it's a business model from click snap okay so you will get the money when someone only views your photos so upload your photos then users view them and you get paid once you get $15, you can cash out. So right now, I think that it's not bad at all. You know, you just go and you can just upload a lot of pictures because you never know which one is going to be seen. The more you put out, the more chances you've got. And then you just wait, you know, then it turns itself into a passive income. But the thing with this one is that it's not paying like a fortune in order to view your photos. You can see this, this is 0 0.40 cents. So that's 0 0.04 dollars per photo view. Now, you might think that this is too low, but it's not too low as well. I mean, they thought about this. For example, if you get 1,000 views, if you just multiply that by 0 0.04, that's going to be $40 for you on only one photo, and it has to be seen 1,000 times. So, 1K views, you think that it's not bad at all. I mean, 1K views you can get in a day sometimes, you know. Depends on how much traffic is going through click a snap so let's actually go and check that now here on similar web we can see that clickasnap.com has 3.6 million total visits each month so this sounds like a good plan for me okay if you are a just beginner if you want to get paid per view this is a good website first of all it pays per view second of all it has a lot of views, the website on its own. So you can be sure that someone is going to see your photos on a daily basis. And of course, the more you put out, the more chances you have to earn plenty of money. So it is truly different from all of these other ones. But what if you don't have the time to, for example, go and travel and take a lot of these photos? What if you just want to take this into a side hustle? What if you just don't want to take these photos yourself? Because let's be honest, in order to take, I don't know, for example, this picture, you have to go somewhere, you know, you have to travel, you have to take these and travel photos are really selling. So what can we do? Well, the best thing that you can do for yourself, if you want to outsource this one and you want to turn this into your passive income, something like your own mini company, you can go over to Upwork and just take a look at this. I've been looking for photographers on this platform and trust me, there are a lot of these, but of course, don't take like these expensive ones. Here's a trick for you. This is location here. You can just search by location. So for example, just go to some of these like third world countries. So for example, India, let's say, let's just do it like that. Click on India. And then we will find a lot of these cheap photographers. But of course, you can see what they are into. So for example, this guy, 
he has a portfolio there. You can see which kind of photos he can provide to you, okay? And can be done in a not expensive way, okay? So, I don't know, maybe just scroll down and then you just have to search for yourself for people from all over the world in order to just send you some photos, okay? Because you can't just download the photos and just upload them on ClickSnap because there is something which is called copyright and you just can't violate that, okay? You can't sell those even on StockC, on Shutterstock, if you decide later, you can't sell those unless this guy, for example, gives you the permission. So, of course, he's going to give you permission if you just pay him for an hour, you know. For example, let's say you pay him $15 per hour and you request, I don't know, maybe five photos. That's like $3 per each one of those photos. And you can just, as you can see, $40 per 1,000 views on Click a Snap, which is not bad investment. But of course, if you like photography, if this is a passion of yours, you can always go and take them yourself. You just have to find the category. I have found that these nature photos are really in demand nowadays. Also, there is something about this mindfulness. And of course, Evergreen is going to be healthy food alternatives. So what I wanted to say to you is that you'd go and you just do a bit of a research. What is in demand? And of course, second thought of yours should be, what can I do easily? Okay, so what I have around me. So... Okay, maybe in demand there is a picture of ocean, you know, but you don't live near the ocean, okay? So, you just go and see what is around you and what is in demand. So, that way you can just go out and you can take a lot of pictures, you come home, you upload them, and that's it, if you like stock photography. But, as I've told you, you can hire a lot of people. You can hire a lot of people on Upwork to do that for you. If you just don't have time to take photos or if you just want to try this out as a side hustle. Now, later, of course, you can try yourself out with Shutterstock as well. You can see that they have a section in here which is called Sell Your Content. And, of course, this is going to go per download. Okay, so you will share the work and you can see that on Shutterstock, for example, you make money every time your content is downloaded by one of our worldwide customers. So, one of our customers is going to download that and it is well known that Shutterstock pays some good money, right? But honestly, guys, I think that this is unique. On our channel, I have never found something like this. And to just get paid per view, it is something that I have never seen before. I mean, you get paid per view on YouTube, but on these photos, I don't know how they made it. But the good thing is that it exists. And for all of you photographers out there, it's a great source of money. Now, you might think that 40 cents, I mean 0.40 cents, isn't a lot. But views add up, you know? It's easy, you know, when you know you have 8 billion people in the world and they just consume the content, you know, 1,000 views per day. Well, it's nothing really. And here they say, and they're right, trust me, for instance, YouTube is paying 0 0.0006 per view, okay? And Spotify is paying even less. And sometimes, if someone really likes your photo, you can sell it as a physical version. So, plenty of possibilities on this website. You can go and try yourself out. Of course, if you love photography, just go and take a lot of pictures. I have a friend of mine who's just selling these, and he's just selling to a guy who then goes and resells those, like, in numerous, numerous ways, you know? It's, like, crazy how much money he just gets for one photo, but, of course, it is even crazier how much that guy gets from reselling those, okay? So, it can be a chain, of course. When you just go and you just meet a few people, okay? You will build yourself a network of those people. And then, of course, you can switch over to videos. Videos are also good because there's a lot of YouTube content making nowadays. And you can get yourself some money with that as well. So, just go and choose for yourself. Do research and, of course, work at it, guys. If you love it, be dedicated. I'll catch you.